हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज श्वेता पाटिल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ई एन टी सी ए आई एस एस एम एस इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी पुणे टूडे वी विल हैव अ लुक एट वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज डब्ल्यू 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 सो दिस वर्ल्ड वाइड वेब इट इज अ रिपोजिटरी ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन विच इज लिंक्ड टूगेदर फ्रॉम पॉइंट्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड the www has a unique combination of flexibility portability and user friendly feature that distinguish it from other providers by the internet the www project was initiated by seren c e r n which is european laboratory for practical physics to create a system to handle distributed resources which are necessary for scientific research we will have a look at the architecture of www so www today is a distributed client server service in which a client using a browser can access a service using a server the service which is provided is distributed over many locations which are called as sites in this figure we can see that there is a client and different sites are there so each site holds one or more document which is referred as a web page each web page can contain a link to other page in the same site or on the other side these pages can be retrieved or used by using a browser the client needs to see some information that it knows about the site a it then sends a request through a browser a program that is designed to fetch web document the request amongst other information includes the address of the site and the web page which is called as the url the server at the site a finds the document and send it to the client when the user views the document she finds some reference to other documents including a web page at site b the reference has the url for new site the user is also interested in seeing this document the client send another request to the new site and the new page is retrieve we have the client or the browser so there are a variety of vendors which offer commercial browsers that interprets and display a web document and all uses nearly the same architecture each browser consists of three parts the controller the client protocols and the interpreters here the controller receives input from the keyboard or mouse and uses the client program to access the document after the document has been accessed the controller uses one of the interpreter to display the document on the screen the client protocol can be one of the protocol which is described previously such as the ftp and http the interpreter can be html java or javascript it depends upon the type of document which is used then is the server the web page is stored at a server each time a client request arrives the document is sent to the client to improve the efficiency server normally stores request files in a cache in memory memory is faster to access than disk a server can also become more efficient through multi threading and multi processing 
there is uniform resource locator which is also called as url whenever a client wants to access a web page it needs the address to facilitate the access of documents distributed through the world http uses locator the uniform resource locator it is a standard for specifying any kind of information on the internet the url defines four things it defines the protocol the host computer the port and the path the protocol is the client server program which is used to retrieve the document many different protocols can be retrieve a document among them are the ftp or http the most common used is http the host is the computer on which the information is located although the name of the computer can be analyzed web pages are usually stored in computers and computers are given alias name that usually begin with the character www the url can optionally contain the port number of the service if the port number is included it is inserted between the host and the path and it is separated from the host by a colon then is the path path is the path name of the file where the information is located here the path can itself contain slash that in the unix operating system which is separates the directories from the sub directories and the file so this was about world wide web www thank you